His day job is just a distraction for a hobby that takes him back. You might call that an obsession. Uh, <laughs> it's taken a lot of my, my time. But drive around town with Bob Henderson and he'll take you with him. There's a lot to interpret and there's a lot to, uh, to mark what happened here. About 140 years to a battleground long since forgotten. Just past the range of golfers at the West Mead Golf Center and right behind the Lowe's on Charlotte Pike, Bob Henderson follows history's footsteps to the banks of the Cumberland River. Uh, you can imagine the gunboats, seven uh, heavily armed uh, gunboats. Fire. Cannons exploding uh, up and down for a half a mile. Fire. Shots whizzing all over the place. Uh, it all happened right here. For two weeks in 1864, this is where Confederate soldiers fought one last battle and where, for the last six years, Bob Henderson fought one of his own. This is a national story. It's an international story. And uh, we're the stewards of this land that need to take a deeper interest in protecting these kind of places. It's a battle just recently won. Metro plans to pump $365,000 into these woods as part of its Greenway project tailored to Civil War buffs. They want to experience the war. They want to see what happened here. It's, it's an important period of our time. This is the site map. And lest anyone forget, Henderson's already made up the signs, pointing visitors in the right direction toward a past that shaped history. Barry Simmons, News Channel 5. Well, this has got to be the perfect place for history buffs, nature lovers, and just about anyone else. Mayor Bill Purcell, Metro Council members, and other dignitaries dedicated the city's newest greenway this morning. The scenic trail is located at Brookmead Park at Kelly's Point Battlefield and features a half-mile walking path. Supporters say the greenway is a good example of what can happen when business leaders, environmentalists, and developers put their heads together. Unaccustomed as I am, cutting ribbons. <laughs> this was a very important place for a lot of reasons, but in particular because of what happened between the North and the South in, on this spot. And I'm going to ask uh, our very good friend, P. McDaniel, if you would, to talk just for a couple of moments about what happened here. Uh, I'm not the one to do the talking. I think there are others here that can much better explain the action that took place along these bluffs. All that area. Mayor, I can't tell you exactly. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Bob, Bob, well, Bob, 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 but I want to, if I will, while you give me this opportunity. <laughs> well, I just want to express my thanks to all of those people and have. Uh, Take an initiative uh, to add this to the Greenway Trail, and to preserve this site, to interpret this site. And Mayor, you're just doing a fabulous job. Helping the I think the reason I wanted to be here today was to show my thanks and my support to you and uh, all those who are responsible for this. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Mayor Purcell and I discussed this when he was running for office, and uh, I think it was interesting. Franklin is modeled, uh, they, they've had a lot of successes lately, and basically they've gotten involved in the political process. Uh, the quote in the paper a couple of weeks ago by the uh, president of the Civil War Preservation Trust basically said, get into politics or get out of preservation. And I think this is a good example of how the system can work, because we've been complaining about for years, you know, why don't they do this, why don't they do that?